It's time now for the latest in local news. In the news, it's election day as Wayne County voting precincts are now open and remain open until 7 p.m. this evening. Then the votes will be counted and tabulated. Winners will be announced. The number of Wayne County registered voters have already voted early stands at 2075 during the three-week early voting period. Candidates on the ballot hoping for a nice turnout today. There are three men running for sheriff of Wayne County, including the incumbent Chuck Mosley and candidates Toby Cameron and Donnie Ray. All three on the Republican ballot. We'll find out tonight if there will be a runoff or if someone will run it without a runoff. Can all three candidates on the Republican ballot today? Also on the Republican ballot, the two candidates for district attorney for the Brunswick Judicial Circuit. That will be decided this evening. Two candidates on the ballot, incumbent Keith Higgins and longtime assistant DA John B. Johnson. The Brunswick Judicial Circuit comprised of five counties, Wayne, Appling, Jeff Davis, Camden, and Glenn County. And this race will be decided this evening. One contested school board race in District 5 between incumbent Tina Mosley, also on the ballot candidate Tommy Witherspoon, District 1 candidate Carrie Yarbrough, unopposed as in, as his incumbent Todd Wise in District 3 on the school board. County Commission candidates incumbent Mike Gordon in District 1 and Tim Hopkins in District 3 running unopposed. Two candidates in District 5, but both on opposite party ballots. So this race between candidate Randy Franks on the Republican ballot and Democratic candidate Princess Dow will be decided by the voters in November as both will win their party nomination this evening. Incoming to District 5, Jamie Hickox opted not to seek re-election. A race for coroner will be decided this evening. Incoming Jay Fulton on the ballot along with candidate Rich Shefka. Several Superior Court judges on the ballot all unopposed, including Judge Stephen Scarlett, Judge Anthony Harrison, Judge Burt Guy, and Judge Stephen Kelly. State Court Judge Vi Bennett unopposed. Clerk of Court Francis Jurgen unopposed, Chief Magistrate Gary Browning unopposed, probate judge candidate Hope Cunningham unopposed. She'll take office in January, as will tax commissioner candidate Alio Quinn Harnage. She's also unopposed. All these candidates on the ballot when you head to the voting booth today. Once again, the results and interviews here tomorrow on local news. We here at WFOFM encourage all registered voters to take the time and head out to the polls and vote today. Once again, the polls are open, remain open until 7 p.m. this evening. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, a protest and march is planned this afternoon in downtown Jessup, which will end at City Hall around 6.30 this afternoon, entitled Justice for Noah. Noah is the 8-year-old Noah Bush, whose body was found in a bar pit near the Mill Creek area early Thursday morning after his parents reported him missing Wednesday afternoon. Wayne County Sheriff's Department says it's under investigation. The body's been sent to the crime lab for an autopsy. This report was that no foul play is suspected, but members of the family are not satisfied and have organized this event today. So they're searching for answers as to what exactly happened to Noah. It's been reported that Noah was not alone when he went missing. Interviews have been conducted, and the Sheriff's Department continues to ask if anyone has any information about what happened on that fateful day. They're asked to contact the Sheriff's Department at 912-427-5970. If you wish to remain anonymous, you can call 912-427-5993. WIFLFM will be at City Hall today. We'll have more on this event taking place today at City Hall tomorrow here on the local news. City Commissioners of Joseph have a regular board meeting set for 7 p.m. at City Hall this evening. Noah Bush was a second grade student at James E. Bacon Elementary. He reported missing late Wednesday, late, last Wednesday afternoon. His body found early Thursday morning. Glenn County K-9 police tracked his whereabouts. First locating his shoes near the bar pit. And we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. But again, a march from Cracker Williams to City Hall and Jessup planned for this afternoon. The event at City Hall planned for 6.30 this afternoon. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, our special guest Monday morning on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show. And he's discussed several topics in the state budget. They passed teacher pay raises. We asked the governor to clarify if the state provides the entire pay raise for teachers to the local boards of education. Well... All I can tell you is that, you know, the funding model in Georgia has always been uh, state and local funds. You know, the locals have property taxes that they generate to help pay for K-12 education. So I can, all I can tell you is that, you know, when, when we do, a, say, a $3,000 teacher pay raise, we're funding $3,000 for, for every educator that's out there. And, uh, you know, anybody that's complained about that, uh, they're uh, – you know, they're on the wrong side of this equation. We think that teachers should be paid more, educators should be paid more. Uh, it's a really tough environment in the classroom. And, you know, that's just, uh, I, I haven't heard them complaining about, we're, we're funding more now than we ever have in K-12 education. And once again, those comments of Governor Brian Kemp, our special guest on Monday's Butch and Bob Show, we'll hear more of his comments on Wednesday's newscast. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, The Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned.
Final notes and news. City commissioners do meet this evening at 7 p.m. at City Hall. It's a regular scheduled meeting on the agenda under old business, a 2024 LeMig supplement project report with City Engineer Bill Schumann, Teach Bloss South making a presentation also by City Engineer Bill Schumann, wastewater discharge monitoring report from the wastewater treatment plant supervisor Patrick Martin, board appointment to the Animal Control Board, which they're forming, discussion of solar panel capital project, public participation, Scott Perry, Talk about Nancy Street access, new business cert- certificate of recognition, Charlie Cope and Rose Connor, ESG engineering mapping proposal, fan- financial review and CD renewal quotes, discussion of the CDBG 2025 grant, Boys and Girls Club, an executive session for personnel and legal, items with the city manager, items with the commissioners, items with the mayor, all that tomorrow at 7 p.m. Wayne County Board of Education is a call meeting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at the Tech Center. On the agenda, financial management, fiscal year budget for 2025, an executive session discuss personnel, Board of Education District 1 representative appointment, a superintendent contract addendum, and all that taking place tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Several big events planned this week for the senior class as graduation night is this Friday, May 24th at J.C. Stadium. Graduation will begin at 7.30 at J.C. Stadium. They ask that those attending be seated in the stadium by 7.15. They said approximately 300 Wayne County seniors will graduate this Friday, scholarship night is this Thursday, as a lot of scholarship money will be handed out. Tonight is the courting ceremony, both that ceremony and the scholarship ceremony at the K. Cakel Theater. Again, a big week for the senior class of 2024. Once again, a graduation night, Friday night at J.C. Stadium. Time of graduation, 7.30 p.m. Memorial Day, Monday, May 27th, and they're going to have a special ceremony at the Memorial Wall at the Wayne Memorial Hospital. Wayne County Veterans Memorial Wall Board inviting everyone to a special ceremony that morning at 10 a.m. Guest speakers will be State Senator Blake Tillery, Walmart Local Manager Warren Wagamuth, High School ROTC Present the Colors. If you need additional information, contact Larry Brantley at 912-294-3604 or Floyd Murray at 912-294-0198. And that's Memorial Day this coming Monday, May 27th at 10 a.m. at the Hospital Wall at Wayne Memorial Hospital. That'll do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.